Sorry. Are we okay? Isn't this exciting? Okay, so we'll begin. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, the grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God the Father, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you always. And I ask you, what name do you give your child? Lincoln John. And what do you ask of God's church? Baptism. I'm feeding them the answers. <laughs> it's all right. Okay. In asking for baptism for your child, you are undertaking the responsibility of raising him in the faith so that keeping God's commandments he may love the Lord and his neighbor as Christ has taught us. Do you understand this responsibility? You have no idea. <laughs> okay. God, parents, are you ready to help the parents of this child in their duties? We are. Good. Lincoln John, the Church of God receives you with great joy. In her name, I sign you with the sign of the cross. Then after me, your parents and godparents will do the same. Good. Will you not restore again our life that your people may rejoice in you? Show us, O Lord, your mercy and grant us your salvation. I will hear what the Lord speaks. He speaks of peace for his people and his faithful. My brothers and sisters, let us invoke the mercy of our Lord Jesus Christ for this child about to receive the grace of baptism for his parents, godparents, and all the baptized. That's for multiple kids. Okay. Okay. There's only one being baptized today, right? yes. just so you know. Okay, this is the exorcism. Almighty, ever-living God, who sent your Son into the world to drive out from us the power of Satan, the spirit of evil, and bring the human race rescued from darkness into the marvelous kingdom of your light, we humbly beseech you to free this child from original sin to make him the temple of your glory, and to grant that your Holy Spirit may dwell in him through Christ our Lord. May the strength of Christ the Savior protect you. As a sign of this, we anoint you with the oil of salvation. The only one I can tell is the right one is by the smell. How? Oh, no, we have that. I should have used that. Sorry. That's good. Thank you. Let us pray, dear brothers and sisters, that the Lord God Almighty may bestow new life on this child by water and the Holy Spirit. O God, who by the invisible power accomplish a wondrous effect that sacramental signs and through sacramental signs and who in many ways have, bapt, have prepared water your creation to show forth the grace of baptism. O God, whose spirit in the first moments of the world creation hovered over the waters so that the very substance of water would even then take to itself the power to sanctify O God, who caused the children of Abraham to pass dry shod throughout the Red Sea, so that the chosen people set free from slavery to Pharaoh would prefigure the people of the baptized. May this water received by the Holy Spirit, the grace of your only begotten Son, 
so that human nature created in your image and washed clean through the sacrament of baptism from all the squalor of the life of old may be found worthy to rise to the life of newborn children through water and the Holy Spirit. May the power of the Holy Spirit, O Lord, we pray, come down through your Son into the fullness of this font, that, so that all who have been buried with Christ by baptism into death may rise again to life with him who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Dear parents and godparents, through the sacrament of baptism, the child you have presented is about to receive the love of God new life by water and the Holy Spirit. For your part, you must strive to bring him up in the faith so that this divine life may be preserved from the contagion of sin and may grow in him day by day. If your faith makes you ready to accept this responsibility, then mindful of your own baptism, renounce sin and profess faith in Christ Jesus, the faith of the church in which children are baptized, And I ask you all, do you renounce Satan and all his works and all his empty show? Do Do you renounce sin so as to live in the freedom of the children of God? Do Do you renounce the lure of evil so that sin may have no mastery over you? Do Do you renounce Satan, the author and prince of sin? Do Do you believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth? Do you believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was born of the Virgin Mary, suffered death and was buried, and rose again from the dead, is seated at the right hand of the Father? Do you believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body and life everlasting? This is our faith. This is the faith of the church. We are proud to profess it in Christ Jesus, our Lord. Is it your will, therefore, that Lincoln John should receive baptism in the faith of the church, which we all have professed with you? Okay. I beg your pardon. Okay, you ready to do the switcheroo? Just hold him face up over the font. Good. Lincoln John, I baptize you in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. I need that towel there. He's terrific, isn't he? (laughs) Isn't he great? He's having a good time. Almighty God, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ has freed you from sin, given you new birth by water and the Holy Spirit, and joined you to his people. He now and let's see which is one. one. He now anoints you with a chrism of salvation so that you may remain do it up here. As a member of Christ priest, prophet, and king unto eternal... (laughs) He is fun. Okay. Okay. You disappeared for a second. There you are. I knew you were coming back. (laughs) Lincoln John, you have become a new creation. You have clothed yourself in Christ. May this white garment be a sign to you of your Christian dignity with your family and friends to help you by word and example, bring it unstained into eternal life. It tastes good too, doesn't it? <laughs> Must have been just one. Okay. 
and just hold it, please. Receive the light of Christ. Parents and godparents, this light is entrusted to you to be kept burning brightly so that your child, enlightened by Christ, may walk always as a child of the light and persevering in the faith may run to meet the Lord when he comes with all his saints in the heavenly court. May the Lord Jesus, who made the deaf hear and the mute speak, grant that you may receive his words with your ears and and profess the faith with your lips to the glory and praise of God the Father. Baptized in Christ, you are clothed with Christ. Alleluia, alleluia. Celebrate. Okay. Dear brothers and sisters, this child reborn through baptism is now called a child of God, for indeed he is. Through confirmation, he will receive the fullness of the Holy Spirit, and approaching the altar of the Lord, he will share at the table of his sacrifice and will call upon God as Father in the midst of the church. Now in his name and in the spirit of adoptions as sons and daughters, which we all have received, let us pray together as the Lord teaches us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. May the Lord God Almighty, the giver of life, both in heaven and on earth, bless the father of this child, so that together with his wife they may, by word and example, prove to be the first witnesses of the faith of their child in Christ Jesus. The Lord God Almighty, through his Son, born of the Virgin Mary, brings joy to Christian mothers as the hope of eternal life shines forth upon their children. May he graciously bless the mother of this child so that as she now gives thanks for the gift of her child, she may always remain united with him in thanksgiving. In Christ Jesus, our Lord. May the Lord God Almighty, who by water and the Holy Spirit has given us new birth into eternal life, abundantly bless his faithful here present that always and everywhere they may be active members of his people and may he bestow his peace on all who are here in Christ Jesus our Lord. And may almighty God bless here the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Go in peace, my friends. God bless you all. Especially Lincoln John. He's terrific. He's so good. Is he always this good? Yeah, most of yeah. You had to consult there. Did you see that? Just making sure, yeah. Should we tell them about that night? Congratulations, oh, you, you guys. So much, well done. Thank you, thank good for you. Oh, Jim. Sorry, Jim. No problem. Lewis, Nicole, on behalf of the Knights of Columbus Council 12609 and Our Lady of Lakes Parish, we would like to present you red rose in honor of life. The most important person on earth is a mother. She cannot claim to have built the Notre Dame Cathedral. She need not. She has built something more magnificent than any cathedral. A dwelling for a mortal soul in the tiny perfection of her baby's body. The angels have not been blessed with such a grace. They cannot share in God's creative miracle and bring the new saints to heaven. Only a human mother can. Mother are closer to God, the Creator, than any other creature is. God joins forces with mothers in performing this act of creation. What on God's good earth is more glorious than this, to be a mother? Congratulations, you guys. All the very, very best. God bless everyone. See ya. Oh. I hear and obey. <laughs> sure, yes. I was married for 35 years. I know how to obey. <laughs> yeah, now we can see your face. Before we couldn't see your face. Oh, Lexi or Elena, do you think we could take the
Oh, you're welcome, Jimmy. Thanks for coming. When she says. Now? <laughs>Should we take our masks off for five seconds? Should we take our masks off for five seconds? Oh, sure. If you're, if you're and just, comfortable with that. And just... Then you have to wave to the camera, because there's the camera. Oh, there you go. Hi, everybody up there. Okay. Cool. Mess on. Thanks, you guys. Thank you take so care much. of yourselves. Congratulations.